Hello everyone, Matt at Fisher Electronics here. Um, so, a pretty straightforward video here of how to pair your Sony TV remotes up with your televisions. Um, this first remote here is going to be more of a 2021 model. That remote is a RMF TX621U for umbrella. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to do two. I'm going to use a different remote also for the second time, but this first one's going to be pairing this remote if there's not a remote paired. When we're pairing this, we're pairing this via Bluetooth, and buttons you'd want to pair this for would be if the microphone is not working. Um, these buttons, Netflix, YouTube, those should work either way because this remote is not paired, and I can hit YouTube, and the TV is still going to go right into YouTube. So uh, to get into the app, that's not going to be a problem. If you want to do voicing in an app to search for something, then yes, the micro, the remote, excuse me, would need to be paired. So we're going to use our gear um, and our arrows and this cursor, this center button here. I'm going to hit that gear, and there's settings. We're going to go into settings. If it's not there, scroll to the left to settings. Here in the settings menu, we're going to arrow down to remotes and accessories. Going to arrow over to the right. And uh, Bluetooth is going to want to be on. If that's turned off, turn it on, because uh, it's not going to work without that being on. Go down to remote control. And here you're going to see this connect via Bluetooth. This will enable the full functionality of your TV remote control. So I'm going to select that. This is how you connect your remote via Bluetooth. Press and hold down the volume minus button, and then press the microphone button uh, in it's this colored button, this um, button right here, this Google button basically below the microphone. That's what it's referring to, as you can see that even from the picture. So you press hold and hold volume down, and then for up to three seconds, at the same time, you press the microphone button. So I'm going to do that on this remote control now. And we will see, there it says connecting. That means, okay, I'm connecting this remote. The new remote has been connected. Okay, very good. One other thing when you do this, you may want to go down to software update and check that or click on that. It's going to say checking. It's checking the software update of your remote control. Uh, they do once in a while issue Bluetooth, you know, software updates for Bluetooth communication. And that's what you want to also would make sure is up to date is that software between the TV and the remote control. So that is how you connect the remote initially if there's not even a remote connected to it at all. Now, the other remote I'm going to uh, go over with you is over here. The, uh, hold on one second here. All right, that's this remote, the RMF TX800U, U for umbrella. Um, so this, this is on their newer, get that away from there. Newer 2022 models. Um, camera focus. Doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's try that. So this is the remote. This is the smaller remote that Sony has come out with for the 2022 television models in the United States. Again, this video, I should say, is primarily made for people in the United States with United States models. So we're going to go into this. Uh, this is their micro, or I'm sorry, mini LED television, the X95K. But same thing in here. Um, I'm going to hit this gear button right here at the top. And then I'm going to select settings. And then I'm going to arrow down to remotes and accessories. Again, Bluetooth should be on already. Uh, there was a question that was asked, but how do I disconnect the old remote if I want to pair a new remote? That automatically happens, because when we go over here to remote control, you're going to see, okay, connected remote is this remote right here. It's already connected to the TV. But if you were to get a new one, you could arrow into this menu like this. And when you select that, it tells us this message, are you sure you want to connect a new remote? Current currently connected remote will be disconnected. Okay, great. So you're going to take care of disconnecting the old remote. I'm going to say, yep, connect a new remote. It brings us to this screen. Press and hold the volume down while pressing the microphone. 
Okay, so I'm going to do that. Pressing hold the volume down, and there we get our connecting message. So I've reconnected the same remote in this case, but in your case, you'd have a different remote. The new remote has been connected. Okay. Same thing, I can go to software update and check that. Make sure it's up to date. It is. Now, if you're getting a message when you try to connect it, or you're holding down the volume, da volume down button and the microphone, you know, more than three seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, and it's not connecting. You could restart your TV, unplug it from electricity, do a factory data reset. If you've done those things, then that tells me that there's a problem either with the remote control you have, maybe it's not the exact right model number to match up to your television, or uh, you've got a problem with your TV. And in that case, you'd be wanting to call Sony uh, in whatever, in the United States or um, wherever country you're in. Uh, that would be the next steps after that. So I just wanted to go over that on uh, connecting these remote controls uh, Bluetooth-wise uh, to your television. Purpose of doing it Bluetooth again would be so your microphone works, um, basically to talk to the TV. Again, either way, these buttons should work whether your remote is connected via Bluetooth or not. It'll get you into the app. But if you want to talk in the app or anywhere, you do need to connect this via Bluetooth. Matt, FisherElectronics.net. Subscribe to us. Throw any comments down below, and I'll see you at the next one.